They gonna hang me in the morning Set me out to dry Gonna take my skin and put it on a flagpole To fly We're on take one Ardo cast Cast. Check, check, check. Take, 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 take five. Oh, yes. It's going to be five, episode five, right? I don't know. We don't know. We, we think don't. it's five or six. It might be six, 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 right? That'd be, that'd be. Oh, I just blew out the mic. <laughs> reset, reset, reset. <laughs> Mary, we need a reset. Actually, hit, hit that right there. No, with that. Oh! There, school's in. Round one! Did you oh, we forgot to put the recording light on. Oh. oh, is that real? But we're still. Yeah. This means we're recording. And we're oh, on again. Yeah. There we go. That's what yeah. I don't see. So there we go. There, and we're on again. There we go. School's in session. That was double honest. That was double check. School is in session. Did you go to school? Me? Yeah. Uh, I dropped out. You did? What the heck? Dory moment! <laughs> we got our own Steve-O back there. <laughs> All right, so we're here again. Mike's on. Mike's hot, hot, hot. Mike, we're, we're hot, hot. We've been hot. This is hot double Mike. check in. We're here for uh, Ardo Cast. Shout out to my main man, Cato Kalen. Yeah, thank you. Hashtag dipshit. Dipshit. Sean Mitchell Mitchell's on. Ardo Cast. This <laughs> month. <laughs> And uh, anyway. we've got our next guest coming up here. Yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be here pretty soon. Or is he going to show? He's he's show. He'll show. Okay. Do, do you think he's going to show? Yeah. Just got here. Oh, oh he's, here. he's here. The bell he's rings. The Don? bell rings and he's here. Is that his name, Don? Uh, what? What's his name? You tell me, Dano. Yep. Dano. Dano. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dano comes from a long line of frontiersmen, outdoorsmen type. And he's gonna be talking about hunting in Utah. Yep. <laughs> what do you? What? Well, I'll save the questions. For I'm you. just kidding. I, <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> but I wanted to get the date right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. But you, you go to school, huh? Any. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's bring him on. You've had enough. Of, okay, we got Dan. Come on today. So it's really bring good to have him on here. Cause we get chatting, we get racking. Where you going? Welcome, Dano. Dano, come on up. Step up to the fucking. Couch. I can't work that way. Hey, <laughs> order a cast. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Hey guys. Hey, we got Dano here. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. Sean, I know you're kind of off there. That's right. That's it. Keep that thing. Yeah. Keep that thing. Yeah. So we're here with, good? with Dano. Dano. So, Dan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, tell us a little bit of your history. I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. But first, before I talk about myself, I uh -oh. actually wrote a theme song for you guys. Ooh. Uh -oh. You guys okay with it? Yeah. 100%. Cast is the best place to not get your ass chewed out. Cast is the place to go. So tell us a bit about yourself. Where did you come from? Uh, I am Daniel Martinez. Uh -huh. I am from West Valley. Cool. Born and raised? Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah. South Salt Lake, technically. Cool. Uh, yeah, from West Valley. Hell yeah. Thank you for letting me be on the show, guys. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you for up. coming on in, Thank man. You. By the way, these yeah. last shows you guys got are fucking amazing. <laughs> can I say? Can I say? <laughs> yes. The F word? Yes. We're going to honk you out, though. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Oh, good. And, uh... We're just fooling around. Well, you know what? Let's fool around some more. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you grew up in West Valley or uh, South Salt Lake? South Salt Lake, yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, high school? Uh, I kind of went to Granger High School. Okay. Uh, you were talking earlier about how uh, you went to different schools and we used to go all the time. I used to sell a lot of weed back in the day at many high schools. Out to... 
Tannisdale. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cottonwood. It's back before it was legal, right? Yeah, back before it's legal. It's by the time this comes out, it might be illegal in the city of Utah. Who knows? It's been over seven years, Ken. Can we me? Fuck you, cops. So, um, tell us how you got into music. Uh, so, I'm in two bands. Uh, one with the great Tesla, the best of the shoes on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm in a band with her. We're a Screeching Weasel cover band. Uh, started about two years ago, called Anthem for a New Tomorrow. And I've shout been out. shout out to Anthem, D, Chuck, Bricks, Travis, Tesla, the Vesla. Uh, I'm also in a band called Colonel Wingus. Ooh. We've been a band for over six years, but before we were Colonel Wingus, we were Roadhead. And uh, we changed our name because the guys in the band have wives now. Uh oh. And so they thought Roadhead was a little sexist. It is a little hardcore. It is they a little to bit. Yeah, we got to go PG. Here, yeah, folks. so we went yeah. the opposite route. At well, least paid off the word Cunnilingus for eating pussy. Uh huh. And <laughs> we did Cunnilingus for the ladies. And uh, so what? Instruments do you play besides I, guitar? Obviously. I am a actually I'm a bass player, not a very good one, but I play the bass. I love guitar. Uh, recently learning how to play piano and ukulele. Wow. So do you own how many instruments you own? Shit, I was hoping you were going to ask that. Uh, I own at least seven instruments. Name them. Three basses, two guitars, one electric, ukulele. Two acoustics? Two acoustic guitar, electric guitar, or acoustic guitar, six strings. Sweet, sweet. One electric, and then, of course, the ukulele. And so how did you get into playing music? What, uh, brought, what, what sucked you into the vortex? <laughs> this is a real fucking serious story here. So at one time, my brother played the bass it, at Granite High School, mm-hmm. right? And this was, well, I graduated Granite High School's not even around anymore. <laughs> no shit, I've seen that That's skate video. History. That was awesome, you have seen that. Uh, but he played for the jazz band and bought himself an amp, and he kept pawning it. And I told my brother, quit pawning it, I have a job, if you need money, let me have it, when you need it, pay me back, mm-hmm. you still have an instrument. Well, he went and decided to buy a new amp, new bass, Yeah. I was stuck playing the bass. Junior high came around, Valley Junior High, VL. West Valley. VL. Laggers. Uh, we went and became a band with Roadhead. That was in... 1994, 5? Cool. there. And still playing with the same drummer, Rob, Whittle, Sean, cool. Alice. And that's why we're Colonel Lingus. And so what are your earliest memories of, of music? So growing up in South Salt Lake, my neighborhood, I don't know about you guys, if you're a child from the 80s, you always rode your bicycle everywhere. You oh, yeah. Your bike was We your used life. to actually build tree huts back then. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I used to come up, well, actually around where we're at now, yeah. and steal bikes. <laughs> so I had the greatest stolen red line in the world, all chrome and red. Oh, red line was the shizzle. No, it was the greatest bike yeah. I've ever stolen in my life. And so I used to ride your bike constantly and around my neighborhood. You, as soon as 5 o'clock came home, be pre-internet, motherfuckers, pre-internet, people would come home, open their doors, of course, summertime, and they would blare their stereo. And once you got home, you would hear people hit the, the power button. So everywhere you rode, to my house, everywhere else, I'd hear Iron Maiden, Pink Floyd, Beatles, Mexican Ranchero, Kenny Rogers, oh, yeah. to Run DMC, yeah. to even Houdini, all the rap. Did you ever have a ghetto blaster? Fuck, I had seven of them. Really? No shit. For the longest time, I thought at the end of Thriller, when you hear the little casket sound, <laughs> I thought that was me <laughs> holding the recording button on it, <laughs> and the handle went ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Yeah. But yeah. then I realized it hit it the same rhythm, Yeah. so it just sounded loud. Are you on any social medias that we need to shout out uh, to? I know uh, Dano. Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Instagram. Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Uh, you can find my personal one, yeah. Daniel Martinez. Yeah. Yeah. Same number since junior high, so if you know me, call me. So you've been in the music scene, underground scene, for how how many years do you think? (sighs) Forever. Forever. Uh, I remember (laughs) my first show being snuck into was the Deviate, the basement, 
with my brother. Oh, I remember at, the DVDs. At 12 years old, yeah. I got to see Butthole Surfers. What? Yeah. Butthole Surfers was like my first show. Didn't know what the fuck the band was. Didn't care. I was just around the scene. Whatever. My brother was always into the Salt Lake scene. Remember he, the Dead Goat Saloon? Fucking A. Do I, I remember when it was a, a venue, then strip club, and then venue. Yeah. <laughs> like it went through all three different patterns. Yeah. How about and the Zephyr? Zephyr, I loved. I was there for the first, last night. Oh. I was there for the last night to destroy. Yeah. I was also at the last night to destroy Confetti's. Back in the confetti's. goth. Confetti's. That was the goth club. Yeah. 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 And they did the last Punkorama tour there with uh, Bouncing Souls. Oh wow. And after the show, Lisa, who ran it, was like, "You guys do what the fuck you want," and we destroyed the fucker. Yeah. Because next day they were turning it down. They didn't. They never tore it down though. They just well, sat there for years. Well, it sat there for a still year. There. I think is it still there? No, oh, it's gone. It's not Walgreens sure? or some shit. Oh, geez. It's a Walgreens well, now. Last time I was downtown, Zephyr was still there. Well, Zephyr's still there. Yeah, that's yeah. Zephyr's still there. Yeah, we about and if you guys get a chance to go to Facebook, uh, remember the Zephyr. Bring page. back the Zephyr. You can actually still buy merch I, from the original owner. You can. Yeah. He still has Zephyr shirts and bumper stickers. I saw Mike Watt there using a bunch. Dude, of Mike yeah. Watt is amazing. Also, I'll tell you about my favorite story about Mike Watt. He's actually in my CD player right now. Okay. Yes, I said CD tell player. Tell us a story about Mike Watt. Please. So, yeah. okay, here's the thing. My first technical <laughs> concert was, like I said, Ball well, Surfers. Mm -hmm. But when I was a kid, I was going to go to a concert. So, on my 16th birthday, Nirvana played in Utah, December 16th at the Golden Spike Arena. Before they got big or after? No, yeah, just before. Well, uh, actually after. Okay. After. Yeah. Now, I knew after Nirvana, never mind. After never mind. But oh, I already yeah. knew them before that because my first record was Bleach, Operation IV, Soul oh, Sight, and Dead Kennedys IV. were my first records ever. That's what opened my mind mm -hmm. in music. And Stray Cats. But uh, anyways, so I asked my dad on my 16th birthday, I really wanted Nirvana tickets. They never came here besides the Zephyr years ago on Bleach. Mm -hmm. And so my dad bought me tickets for Michael fucking Bolton. Whoa. On the 14th of December. Mr. Mullen himself. Mr. fucking sat on a dock <laughs> looking for love in all the wrong places. Michael fucking Bolton, yes. <laughs> and it was a great time. Time, love, and tenderness tour. Loved it. Great to show. And at the end of the show, dad pulled out two tickets. Here you go, son. Happy birthday. Hell yeah. And so he drove me and a friend to go see Nirvana with the Melvins and the Breeders. Was and Nirvana any good back then or was he all It was amazing to up? me. It was a, to me, seeing Nirvana, and I've been following it since Bleach before Nevermind. Okay. Before Nirvana, before yeah, yeah. the whole BuzzFeed and all that bullshit they did on television. It was one of my first records I bought for 50 cents at a yard sale. Wow. I literally own an original 700 print from Kurt Cobain wow. from Seattle. Wow. And that opened my mind up, like, just completely. But to see Nirvana live, plus the Breeders, who's part of the Pixies, she's part of the Pixies, yep. and the Melvins, who, to me, are gods of punk rock. Like, dead, they're like the dead Kennedys, they're like the dead milkmen. They yeah. just, they did what the fuck they wanted to, and they did it right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And seeing that show opened my mind. To this day, since then, I've never lost a ticket stub, a poster, or a set list of any yeah. show I go to. I collect them. So, I've been in the scene for a long time. Besides local, I've seen some of the greatest local bands. So, I just remember the name of my buddy's band. Tell me. Los Rojos. Los Rojos. Yeah. Didn't okay. they win, like, Battle of the Band? No, they're, they've, they've been around for a while. Yeah. Have they it's played like at the rock. Urban? I don't know. He they he's kind of sporadic. They play every once in a while. They play like three shows a year. Well, shit. But they they, they, they win like are they Scott or no? Am I off? What's that? Are they Scott? Scottish? Scott. Yeah. We can no, 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 no. Yeah. You can come. Through. I mean, a uh, uh, coffee. Give me a coffee. <laughs> Two coffees. Uh, Two nice coffee. coffees, please. You can put a beer on here. Are you uh, sure? It's just like it's not in his hand. Uh -huh. right? no, I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. As long as you're not right. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> there's no such thing. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a cozy so I can hide this coffee? No, you. I can bring this up? Yes. I don't care. Cozy, get cozy with that. That's the same, Max. Thank you so much, coffee. Blue ribbon. <laughs> so, um. I gotta see your friend's band. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen a ver. I saw him once a long time ago, but. 
they've been around. They're kind of like low key, really, really underground. I so. love that. I love that yeah. stuff. Though. But Ronch used to shout out Ronch Records once again. Hi, Ronch. Hey, Brad. Oh. Um, so yeah, they used to play there. Ronch used to do concerts all the time. Yes, the I police, remember that. The police just shut them down. Yeah. Sugar yeah. House. Even the original one right next to the heavy metal shop, they did that shows there. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I remember when the heavy metal shop was in Fucking Sugar House. Eight. Dude, yeah. I'm no <laughs> kidding, man. I went to see 10 Foot Pole. I don't know if you guys know who that fucking punk band is. Yep. But next door was Slayer signing fucking autographs. Slayer? Slayer was there signing autographs. And I was like, wait, what? We're here to see this $5 show. And yep. yet next door is fucking Slayer. Fuck you, ten foot pole. Yeah. Fucking Slayer. Yeah. Fucking raining blood, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a crazy shit to think about. Oh yeah. Crazy times. And even when they moved around the corner, I remember staying up for ten fucking hours on mini thins. Remember those kids? <laughs> staying up for hours just for the rage against the machine tickets <laughs> that played out in Spanish Fork. Oh, they did. We talked about that yeah. on one of our episodes when they played the Spanish War. Yeah, I waited. I, I waited to pay my that. tickets at launch for that. Yeah. Remember being there for fucking ten hours straight? Yeah. Buzz the fuck out of these pills just to get tickets. So, uh, as far as art goes, uh, are, is there any local artists or painters or graffiti artists you're into? Oh man, there's so much. There's uh, I am Salt Lake. He's actually my nephew, and uh -huh. it's kind of crazy mm -hmm. that uh, he is a painter. Cool. Um, I think it's that is Salt Lake because he goes by on Instagram. Please uh, forgive me if I did that wrong. I am Salt Lake as a podcast on Instagram. So. Yeah, you're right. So it's that Salt Lake or something like that. He goes by. Um, I didn't know my cousin was a painter. And I went over to his house one night to party and he had the greatest painting I've ever seen. I was like, how much do you want for that? And he's like, no, nah, man, you're my cousin. He's like, nah, I want it. Need it. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. Sent him 40 bucks on Venmo. Got it. And to this day, you go to my house, you'll see it, and it's a painting of a guy's face with red over his eyes. It's it says beautiful. sober. Beautiful. Oh, cool. It's beautiful. It's cool. really, it says a lot more than what it is. Yeah. And, you should uh, send a picture of it. I will. I definitely will send that to you yeah. right away. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you're an artist yourself. Yes. And actually, looking at what you do, I, by the way, every year, if you're from Salt Lake or just not from Salt Lake, Come to the Urban Arts Festival every year and buy from your local artist. Exactly. Because some of the art here is so goddamn Utah has, amazing. Utah has the best artists in the whole country. There is. There is. And there was a gentleman I met by Jason Smithen who came for the Utah Arts Festival. And he has this greatest drawing I've ever seen. And it's Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars mm -hmm. wearing a crass jerk, a long board and a Slurpee. Yeah. Right? And I looked yeah. at it and he goes... Well, no one likes fucking uh, Jar Jar Binks, and no one likes a hipster. So I drew a hipster of Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, soul! I'll take that in a fucking heartbeat right yeah, there. there you go. I'll send that image to you too, man. It's great. But like, oh, yeah. there's a local guy it's also... Um, what, what, Art Fest a few years ago? Yeah, Art Fest. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Fucking even at the Utah, besides the Urban Arts, just the Utah Arts Festival alone yeah. is amazing. Just all the festivals at Urban Out, Loud, Ur Urban, Urban Arts, Arts Fest is great. So, um, Best. What's the Salt Lake City one? Not the Utah Arts Festival, but the uh, Craft Lake City. The Craft, Craft Lake, City. Lake City is cool. Craft yeah. Lake City and the, what's it, the, the, the DIY yeah, I should I've never Craft Show? That's pretty yeah. cool, man. Shout out my cousin. Yeah, you make stamps, so you should know that they make custom stamps there too, man. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's really cool, man. It's really great. And they show you how to do your own screen printing for shit, too. Cool. Also, yeah. even just like the, the fucking... Uh, I love fucking. What am I, yeah, me too. Yeah. What am I thinking of? The downtown thing, the... Downtown. Far, uh, the Our farmer's ball. market. Farmer's even market every Saturday. Great artists there. They do the punk rap. Shut you up. That one? Shut oh, up. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been to that one. I want no, to do they have the, 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 the punk flea market, market, punk rock flea market. Punk rock flea market? I've never been either. Man, I'm going to tell you now. I have, I, so I've been following the, the local punk scene and music scene in Utah for so long. I'm not kidding. I have two shoe boxes full of flyers. And I love no, collecting that. flyers, patches, stickers, set lists, ticket yeah. stubs of 
anything I go to that has to do with art and music. Do you remember Slug before it was bought by the new Sluggers? Yes. I have first three episodes. Uh, I know the guy that was the first Slug owner. No shit. Yeah. Used to play with Jerry Joseph. Yes. The Jack Mormons. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fucking. Jr. Yeah. Jr. Um, Chris. Chris. Oh, fuck. What is his name? He's part of Wish. Yeah. A local band Wish. He was Shout part of Bad Yodel. Bad Yodelers. Remember those yeah. local bands? Bad Yodelers were on that. But Slug. I remember Slug back in the day when it was just a zine. It was almost like a zine. Oh yeah. You, you know, like you would like randomly find it places. I always went to uh, yeah. either Ranch or fucking yeah. A heavy metal shop to get it, or what was it? Place the back in the day, Knuckleheads. Remember that? Oh yeah. Ah. Are they still around? No, they so. tore it down. Ah. It's like apartments or Modified something. Modified was one of those places. No, yeah. Yeah. Get them at the down. Knuckleheads. Yeah, yeah. Knuckleheads <laughs> was the best. That's some old school shit right there in Salt Lake, man. Ah, ah, fucking me. That just brought me back to being twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a but thing. Slug's a whole different thing now. Slug's like a City Weekly mm. thing now. I, mean, I like yeah, they Slug. Bought by, they got bought by City Weekly, right? Yeah, I probably. But yeah. when Slug first came around, it was total underground zine style. You know what made me laugh about, well, besides how great Slug was, but like, I was the guy who would pay for the annual membership to get yeah. every month. Yeah. And it, they lost money for that. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't realize how much money they lost. It was a dollar thirty-five a month to send you out. I remember a, when you did that. Yeah, to, to send out your fucking slug to you, but yet it's a ninety-nine cents to make it. So besides me and everyone who bought slug membership, they were losing money doing it. Oh yeah. Oh, but yeah. it's crazy because to me that's like it was like, all that's heart. Funny. It was all that's, heart and soul. Right? Yeah, but it, 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 it technically, in a sense, it still is. It's just now they don't do the annual that much anymore. Now you yeah. have to pay a little bit more to get it, so they make yeah. some form of profit. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe we'll get JR on here. That would be that fucking. Talk that would be great show yeah, here. We will. Art of cast. <laughs> Art of cast. Art of cast. <laughs> opera style. Art of cast. <laughs> you're not following it. Follow it. Subscribe. Hit the bell in the bottom corner. Sit right now. Share it with your friends. Still watch it. Let's still watch it. Comment still below. It. What do oh, you think about it? Do watch it before we get shut down. <laughs> it's not gonna yeah. happen. These guys are amazing. It's gonna keep rolling. Yeah. They might shut us down though, right, Cam? Yeah, that's true. That's true. What did Draper City? So you'd have to sneak your way into watching it as long yeah. as you watch it. Now, now I'm telling you now. When I followed you we guys, we gotta keep the door locked. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's Utah. Do it. <laughs> What's word gets out? What's word what gets out? out? The notes are out. The word is out. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys' show is doing great, man. You guys are natural. It's like yeah. a great form of fucking art. <laughs> yeah. They <laughs> studio every week. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, there's a whole scene of like SLC punks because the movie, but like, this is technically SLC punk. It's so yeah. in your face, gritty, and fucking on the point. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah, we're talking. We're talking a lot about art and uh, graffiti. We got poets. Oh, we got Doctor Roscoe. Yeah. He's, if you follow him on Instagram. Great fucking tagger, Dr. Roxco. Do you remember the AOD crew? Shout out ah, AOD. Shit. That's old school right there. Yep. Musk and all. All those guys. Tag dude. Blast and Hoods. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's old school right there. Yep. Fucking Jolly and the rest of the fucking... Uh, Giants? No, no. Jolly and fucking... Uh, <laughs> what's that? That the fucking... Not Ron, yeah, Ronch Crew, yeah, Ronch Crew, yeah. remember that? Yeah, that's fucking Shout out to Cubo, right SOS, TCG. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Roading hard as him! I used to have one in elementary, it was like a West Side Posse. <laughs> Soranos? <laughs> La MS? <laughs> Man, you guys have a great thing here, yeah. seriously. We had a Tongan guy at my high school. He transferred to our high school from West Valley, and he had a TCD tattoo. Was his name Michael? School. Fell off a sofa? No. <laughs> but I'm like, we, we were working out in the football gym, and I'm like, "What's TCG?" And I already knew it was. Yeah. I was just fucking around. Time with him. He's like, guy. True Church of God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that was on the West Side. <laughs> what ward was he part of? <laughs> Uh, actually, where me and her grew up, there was a church right by us. It's only a Tongan, Pali, Samoa yeah. church only. And I thought that was Are weird. those gangs still alive out there? Yes. Or not? You know yes. what? Kings? 
They are. They're around. Right? There, it's a little. It's a little smaller, on but the yeah. DL, but I'm pretty sure yes. Absolutely. TCG. Yes, I'm just saying 100. Like even the what was the Oriental Posse or whatever. I was about oh. to say something very racist, like, oh, change the chang, 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 chang. Like, it was like OC, <laughs> like, yeah, like yeah, no, no, no. OTP, or, 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 o -T -P, like, O-T-O-P, oh. tiny, or or tiny Oriental Posse. Tiny Oriental Posse. Yeah. Or, tiny yeah. Oriental posse. Yeah, that's right. That was a thing for a while back in the, like, yeah. early 2000s. Yeah, I'm sure a... they're still around, they're just like... Actually, you know what, they, it's I funny. I want to say they made When I was in high school, we used to go to this place called Vin's Billiard in West Valley to get cigarettes for $2 when you're underage. Oh shit. And it was run by those guys. Yeah. Like was it the one shop just yeah. at the end of uh, Market Street? Yeah. That one? Right there. The billiards yeah. there? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, we saw someone everything in this conversation from music to I saw gang that related crimes. Ones. Yeah, well no, you come from the same era I do, so. They're everywhere. Yeah. Well, it's weird because I remember my first, my first two periods of school was going to other schools and selling drugs. And if it was a good day, you stayed there for lunch. Oh wow! That's crazy. <laughs> like I've seriously yeah. seen many different cafeterias of different schools I never went to. Yeah. And let's, they're like, "Oh, who's that, that guy?" Let's cut that part, by the way. <laughs> we don't want to encourage drugs for kids. No, no don't kids. ever yeah. do drugs unless you're prescribed <laughs> by a doctor. It was okay back then. By a doctor. You just cut it. Oh, your, your camera you died. Did, no, you just put a your message in there. Just died. Day. Your camera died. And ring the bell. Okay, so I heard that back in the day you lost a ticket. Alright, you so. Like to tell us about that? Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, you guys here at Art Ocast? Shout out. Shout out. Uh, so, like I was telling you guys before, I, I collect any ticket stub, poster, set list of any show I've ever been to. I love it. Nice. Right? And a couple years back, Molly Cruz had, what, 10 last show? Concert tours that we ever had. Oh yeah, like Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, last yeah. Tour. Last tour, last show. We're Kiss. <laughs> last show, the Pepsi last tour show. Whatever. And so Molly Crew came with everyone original before they're gonna die again tour. And so um, I worked at Usana Amphitheater here in Utah. And at the other night, I like to ask my friends if you find a ticket stub, a guitar pick, set list, please keep for me. Just to prove that I have something, texture, taste, smell of the show. Yeah. Well, I found somebody's original 1987 LA Forum Girls, Girls, Girls Holy shit. Molly Crew ticket. So. It sounds like it came from a UFO or something. Fucking. Might as well have been. Yeah. I mean, I've been trying to find the original owner for it and I still have it put on KSO. You have the you name know, of I the don't. Just on the I ground. have a ticket. Um, you know what? I'll have you guys put it on the show. No, well, just on the ground. ground. But you, it's just—it was just on the ground. But what I found it was in the front rows of the stage. So I figured, you know, thinking as a great thinker of me, I thought someone had probably seen the show originally in their youth in L.A. at the Forum, right? And came to this so-called last tour of, of Molly Crew. And we're trying to get it signed and lost it. So I found it. I collect that stuff. And to this day, if there's anyone who's, if you know who it may be, or fan or family, I'd love to help someone get it back. Yeah. But it literally has like a thumb tail or a thumb tack hole in it that someone's been keeping it. Huh. And I found it. And to this day, I want to give it back to you originally. Maybe ones. it's some hot chick that you're supposed to marry. Well, let's not talk about marriage. <laughs> I'm just an no. I mean, I can be honest, but I can't be married. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I wanted to save that ticket stuff for someone who really cared about it. Like the same way I keep the idea of, and everyone should. I mean, I know everyone pulls up their cameras to see a concert and keep the image, but having some something physically to smell, taste, or see yeah, yeah. is so much better. It was just sitting there, right there on the ground. On the ground? Mm. Just sitting there. In beer, probably women's wetness and sex. I don't know what happens at Molly Crew show. Huh. That Pretty sure happen. all those That's things awesome. happen. Maybe it was some chick that Not got married. with like the lead singer at that show. Could be. Her fake boobs could like, say so much like, more than I, I could. I want to come back and get signatured. I, I want to come back and prove I have 
Subliminalists or AIDS? Maybe, I don't know. Hey. You know? I contacted AIDS from you. Yeah. What a person with, in a wheelchair that's trying to find their ticket. Would Vince Neil, you're so good. Can we do it again after 30 years? You know, who knows? But, you know, either way, like, with the show you guys are doing, you're showing, like, how great it is here in Utah music scene. Yeah, Art. it's dope. Yeah. I appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Sean, you. I still thank you more. I think one of these days you should be over here like Ed McMahon and he's John. Well, well, I'm over here. I mean, you're still doing I'm great. Right there. I could be right there. We'll you can be anywhere. We'll get it. We'll we'll get get it. Anywhere. We'll get you know what? With this show, you're going to be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, let's get it everywhere. Subscribe, like, and share. <laughs> don't forget to comment. Or still. Or still. Or still. Hit the or bell still. at the bottom. Cast. Thank yeah. you so or much, everyone. Or Shout still. out to Dano. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll fuck your life just like I will. Yeah, you ever been bankrupt? You ever see a volcano erupt? Oh, that's me fucking up your credit, baby. But now in your life you got 81 more. Yeah. You want a new car? Well, fuck that idea. Because I married you with love, but she credit score. I lost my juice. So you believe in marriage? Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> I think that's so I mean, good. Really if you really want to tell, it's for properties. Okay. Land. But it's not on. It's on land. Art of cash is the best place to not get your ass chewed out. Art of cash is the place to go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>